Hi everybody, I'm Paul Jeffries and today we're at MJA Motorsport. We're going to have the pistons fitted to the rods for Dave Jag's engine. I'm here with Martin at MJA Motorsport. We're heating up the rods uh, in preparation to fit the pistons to them. Thank you very much, sir. Hi, everybody. Welcome to the channel. I'm Paul Jeffries, and this is Dave Jaguar 66's 1310 track and sprint engine, which I'm building for him. Uh, in the last episode, I fitted the Piper Cams 649 scatter camshaft along with the followers and the uh, SH Engineering belt drive kit. Uh, today I'll be installing the pistons and I'll be fitting these ARP uh, rod bolts to the con rods. See you in a bit. Okay, first things first, we need to remove the old rod bolts from the rods. Uh, I, I normally screw, screw the, the nuts onto the end just to save the threads, just in case you want to use them for something else in the future. And basically all you do, get a hammer and just knock them out. Take the nuts off and just pull the old rod bolts out. When you do tap these out always hold the rod like this with your hand against the piston so the piston's not wobbling about like, like as you're knocking the rod bolts out okay right next we're gonna unwrap the ARP rod bolts and I'll install them onto these rods okay I'm now going to fit the ARP rod bolts. Just place it in, make sure it's straight. Hold the piston to, you know, hold the piston so it doesn't rattle about. Just tap, tap that in. That's one. Second one, make sure it's straight. That's the second one done. Right, I'll just repeat the process on the other three rods. I don't need to show you them all. And I'll be back in a tick. Another important thing to check when you're building an engine is to check the ring gap. So basically you take your rings, place it into the bore. And basically you just get, get one of your pistons and just line that up. So it's all dead straight. Now for this uh, application, this engine, the ring gap needs to be 16 thou. I've got a 16 thou feeler gauge there. Slide it in the gap of the ring. And it just needs to be not a tight fit, so you can just feel it grabbing, which it does. That's perfect. You need to repeat that with the rest of the other four cylinders. Okay, next I'll be installing the pistons into the block. I'll be using this tool, which is an NED piston installation tool. Uh, basically, the idea of this is, is it's got a chamfer here. So basically, you push the piston in, it compresses the rings, you put the piston into the bore and basically just push it in. It's a lot easier than using those clamp type compressors. A lot easier. Okay, I've fitted the rings to this piston 
um, when you fit the rings, always make sure the gaps aren't lined up with each other. So basically you've got the gap there, gap exactly the other side, the opposite end. The same with the bottom ones as well. Right, next job is to fit your new bearings, crank bearings, a uh, big end bearings, sorry. Basically just slide it into there, leave it round so it's dead flat. Get some new lubricant, give that a coat in. Right, I've just used a bit of uh, heat shrink just to cover the bolts so they don't catch on the crank when you put the piston in. Now, just got to slide your piston into the compression tool, make sure the rings haven't moved. Slide that in there, press it down like that. Piston into the bore. Make sure that is dead flat. And then push it down. That, there you go. One piston installed. Right. Next job. Obviously, you flip the engine the other way up. Push your piston. All the way up, pull it up from the bottom. Take your protective sleeves off. Your other big end bearing. Slide it into the cup. Make sure it's dead flat. Lubricant on there. Right, when you fit the cap, there's a notch here. Where's the angle? There's a notch here. This much must match the notch on the on the rod. Okay. That's the way around it goes. Snap. Right, get your bolts. Now with these bolts, you need to use the ARP ascent, uh, it's a fastener assembly lubricant, so you get the torques proper, the, the you know, correct torque when you do the bolts up, the nuts rather. And you just get a bit on the finger, put it around the thread. It's a bit messy, but. Nuts on. Now what I'll do, I'll just do these hand tight for now until I've got all the pistons in and then I shall talk them up afterwards. Right, here's the last piston all prepared. ARP bolts fitted, rings fitted, all lubricated up. In the compressor tool. This is the last piston to go in now. And press that down, make sure the rings aren't binding anywhere. Okay, press that down. There you go. Make sure it's dead flat. There you go, last piston installed. Like 
Okay, the last job now. All the pistons are installed. IRP bolts fitted. All I've got to do now is torque them up. 35 pounds foot, as re um, recommended by IRP. Just nip it. Let's turn the other one. Feel it go tight and then just swing round, make sure it's set to 35, which it is. 35. 35. That one's already at 35 because I did it earlier. So I'm going to spin the engine over. So I need these two. Give it up to it. Can you feel it go tight? And then swing 35. 